I tried all the frogs. The good ones, the bad ones, and even the questionable ones. There are a lot of frog mods out there. In this video, we're gonna play with frogs. We'll start with some of the weirder implementations out there, and then we'll get into some of the frogs that might actually give Minecraft a run for their money. This got really weird, so be sure to stick around. Could these frogs actually be better than the ones from the wild update? Well, you'll have to decide that for yourself. Feel free to leave a comment though. So here we are in Minecraft 1.19. This is the wild update, and in this update, they added frogs. As you can see, they look kind of like bullfrogs. They've got those big old eyes. They've got the big old mouth. There's a cow in the way. And overall, they're just pretty cool looking. I, I really like the... Excuse me? <laughs> but overall, I feel like they've got a really great design. They, they're they they're really well implemented. They feel very Minecrafty. I think they're great. You've also got the functionality with the, whoa. You've also got the functionality with the little magma cubes. If they run up to a magma cube and eat the magma cube, they'll drop the frog lights. As you can see there, there we go. We've got a frog light. They're pretty great. This is the okra one, the orange one. I assume that's based on the frog type. And yeah, they're super cool. They're, they're very well done. So this is our baseline that we're gonna compare everything else to. And to start with, we've got something pretty chaotic. Ah, yes. The calming sounds of frogs. That's legitimately what this music just says. It just says the calming sounds of frogs. Not gonna lie, it's a little loud. Um, but if I take that out, that's, uh, that's a little bit better. <laughs> this mod is the, uh, frogs and stuff mod? I actually don't entirely know what this one's called, but check it out. Look, it's, that's, uh, that, that. That's a, that's a frog, I guess? This one, I guess, is a night frog. The, the dark one there is what that is. It's a night frog. And then there's also the white frog spawn egg. And the white frogs, I don't think, like the green ones. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's a, oh. Hey, look, calming frog sounds. That sounds like a really good idea to just put on right now. <laughs> I can hear I guess there's also frog food, and I think- Oh! This night frog is now my friend. Hello, friend. Okay, alright, do they attack? Do they attack mobs that I attack? They do! <laughs> this gives me an idea. <laughs> the army arises. Take out the sheep. Do it. Uh... I guess my game crashed. <laughs> so note to self, uh, that mod breaks your game. <laughs> That's good to know. Let's move on to the next one. Hello, welcome to Sully's Mod, where I have dynamite. <laughs> it's technically called a boomstick, but I like calling it. It's just, it's just fun. It's just, it's just fun to play with. I'm also wearing a dwarven helmet and it like slows me down, but it looks funny, so I kind of like it. Anyways, this is the frog in this, in this mode. And I guess for some reason, uh, it's not fully finished. So if you keep, if you try to, if you try to click on them with the egg, it just spawns baby rabbits. <laughs> but these look pretty cool. I, I do I do like the model of these. They don't seem to have as much functionality as some of the other ones, but I do like how they look. Um, they're large, which is interesting. Um, and now there's a ton of bunnies everywhere. <laughs> Nothing a little boomstick can't handle. Woo! Oh, that is surprisingly effective. <laughs> I think I have successfully taken out the rabbit population. No, wait, there's more! There we go. Anyways, frogs. <laughs> These look good. I do wish they had more functionality. I, I haven't messed with them all that much, but they don't seem to have too much going on. Um, but, you know, they're cool looking. I like the I like the colors, especially. They're, they're very nice. Sully's mod has more mobs than just this frog, so, you know, you can check it out and mess with those mobs as well. But, uh, yeah. He's, he's cool. Hey there, enjoying the video? Well, you should subscribe, it's completely free, and that little subscribe button down there doesn't look that great in red. It really looks better in gray. You should try it out, it's really cool. It's, it's a great time. Uh, <laughs> anyways, subscribe or the frogs will get you. Now this wouldn't be a proper frogs video without a, uh, a buff frog, am I right? <laughs> look at those shoulders, look at this Beefy man. Look at this absolute chad of a frog. Dang boy. You can actually also tame these guys with protein shakes. Check this out. <laughs> so now he'll follow me around and he'll take on any of my, my foes, any of my enemies, my buff frog will handle. Go buff frog, take out this donkey. This donkey murdered my family. I don't know. Petition to add buff frog into origin realm. They spawn naturally. <laughs> these guys, I didn't spawn these ones in. They were just here. Bro, I'm gonna have an army of buff frogs. <laughs> I'm gonna just bring my army of buff frogs around <laughs> and take on the ender dragon, I guess. I don't actually think that would end very well. <laughs> Look at all the buff frogs. Yes. It turns out I can drink the protein shake too and it gives me strength too for like a long time. Let's see how I do against the donkey. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look at all. Yeah, that donkey didn't stand a chance. I have also learned that the frogs will turn on their brethren if you just punch one. <laughs> I'll just attack it. 
<laughs> oh, that's so sad. And then they'll drop their protein shake. So sad. Can confirm, Buff Frog is a way of life. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the Froglin Zone. These are called Froglins, and oh my word, they're terrifying. <laughs> These guys are found in swamps, and they only come out at night. And you'll notice if I set the time today, they all rush back into the water and dig down underground. But then the instant it's back to nighttime, they'll all come out to play. <laughs> <laughs> These guys have super sharp claws and uh, super bright eyes and uh, yeah, they jump really high So they're kind of terrifying to fight which is why I'm in full netherite. So that's what we're gonna do We're gonna fight them I'm gonna go up into this tree real quick just so I can set my game mode to survival in peace and here we go three two one go <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, they're already coming. Oh my gosh. All right, I gotta jump down here and actually attack some of these guys. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Oh geez, there's so many of them. Okay, I've landed one hit. That's it. One hit in total. Let me take out this guy that's just chilling. There we go. He's gone. Oh my word, look at them all. Look at them all. That was the first time I've shot this bow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this feels like this was a bad- They're all over here too. This was a bad idea. Oh my gosh, look at them all. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, they're so brutal. Huh. Golden apple, quick. <laughs> Run. Oh boy. Jeez, having so many of them at once. You won't ever find this many at once, but man, is the horde overwhelming. Oh my gosh, there's a drowned. Why is there a drowned? This is not helping. Ah! Okay, let's take out these little stragglers before the horde gets here. Oh, the horde's here. <laughs> man, this is insanity. There's just so many of them. Jeez, all this jumping and attacking is taking a toll on my heart. This is rough. Golden apple is going to save my life. I've eaten two out of my five that I have. I think I could do this though. There's not too many left. Okay, finally coming to the end of this horde. Oh my word. They deal quite a bit of damage, especially when there's so many of them, but I don't think you'll ever come across this many in the wild. They do only tend to spawn in uh, ones, <laughs> so that it won't be this difficult. This is honestly kind of a fun mob to have around. I'm not gonna lie. All right, it looks like these guys are probably the last couple, and then we have defeated the horde. Oh my gosh. And there's also, you know, three, cre four creepers. Oh. Well, that wasn't ideal. Anyways, now that I've defeated the horde, it's about time I show you what these guys actually can do. When they're killed, they drop these, the froglin eyes. These can be used to brew something called a healthiness tonic. As you can see, they don't look super appealing to drink, but they're actually really useful. As you can see, I've taken a little bit of damage and a little bit of hunger, so if I drink this, it gives you back a little bit of your hunger and heals you a tiny bit. On the healthiness tonic, you can also see blindness, nausea, starved, spider bites, or mortal wound. Drink this jar of frog. So essentially what that means is as you can see, I've got blindness and nausea. This is not good. But if I drink the healthiness tonic, it all goes away. As you can also see if I have absorption and haste and I drink this, it doesn't take them away. These healthiness tonics only remove negative potion effects. Pretty cool implementation and honestly a pretty cool mob, even if it's so terrifying and weird. Hey, if you really like my content, I would highly recommend you become a member. That is the best way that you can support me and get some extra perks at the same time. So the membership join button is right next to the subscribe button. You should go check it out. And if, uh, if you don't want to, obviously no pressure, but I would really appreciate it. It helps me as a creator and it helps me support my content and uh, you'll get more content faster. You'll get better content, all the things because of being a member. So thank you so much for the support for the channel and uh, back to the frogs. So this frog right here is one of the coolest ones that you'll see today simply because it doesn't use any mod. This is the frog from the server Origin Realms and these are completely modless and check it out. He looks so good. These frogs spawn in swamps, which are uh, completely overhauled on this server too. Check this out. These are mangrove trees, and uh, this is a mangrove swamp. It's pretty cool. And yeah, frogs spawn here along with crocodiles and uh, a couple other really cool things is like overhauled witch huts and that kind of thing. But the focus today is these guys right here, the frogs. They have these fun little ambient animations and they'll run away from the player. Uh, they, are, they are scared of you, so you can actually chase them out of the swamp and go off in other places. And they also do little things like stick out their tongue and look around. They do that little ribbit thing. It's pretty great. If you accidentally kill a frog because of course nobody would do this on purpose. The frog has a chance of dropping this, a raw frog leg. And then pop down a furnace, pop that raw frog leg in there, put some fuel in there, cook it on up, and you've got yourself a cooked frog leg. That's right, frogs are food, or at least they can be, or they can be your friend. I mean, look, I mean, they're pretty cool, they're pretty great. Just keep in mind, none of this was done with mods. This is entirely vanilla.
Hello, creeper. <laughs> yeah, this is entirely vanilla content. This is only done with resource packs and server plugins, and this, this is the result. Like, check it out. And by check it out, I mean legitimately, go check it out. You can find the link in the description, and you can find the IP in the description, or you can find the IP on screen right now. You can join 1.18.2 Vanilla Minecraft, no mods needed, and you can check this out for yourself today. Oh, hey, look, crocodile. <laughs> join today if you just can't wait for those frogs. This right here, uh... What? This right here is the warped toad from Alex's mobs. As you can see, it's just basically a giant frog that jumps around the warped forest in the nether. Makes some really cool noises too. Look at this guy. He's really cool looking. Man, there's a reason I used him for the thumbnail. These guys absolutely love to eat mosquitoes. Giant mosquitoes. Those are, those are crimson mosquitoes and he, he went right away after that thing. Dang. Look at this guy. This is a gigantic mosquito and the frog is just like, nah, I'm gonna eat him. Get him, get him, get him. Eat. It was behind the tree, but we, he did it. He ate the he ate the thing. These guys love them so much that the crimson mosquito larva is their favorite food, and you can actually tame them with these and <laughs> turn them into your little friends. Look, oh, he's staying there now. The toads have three different states: following, staying, and just wandering. Wandering means that they just like kind of wander around the area that they're in. Uh, that's super handy. Following means that they follow you just like any other pet, and uh, staying is pretty self-explanatory. They won't go anywhere. You can also breed two of these warp toads to make a baby warp toad. Look, look at him, he's so small. And you can actually tame these guys too and they'll do the same thing that their parents did. Honestly, I love these guys. I think we need more mobs in the nether like this. This is super fun. You can check out Alex's mobs down in the description to see all of those as well as a ton of other features that are included in the mod. Like the grappling squawk, what does this mean? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like kind of the coolest thing. I didn't even realize this was part of this mod. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I could have two at once. Anyways, uh, back to the frogs. <laughs> all right, so this mod I think is actually gonna give Mojang a run for their money. This is the pick your poison mod and look at all the frogs that it adds. There's six in total and all of them have their own unique effects. Look at these guys, let's just look at the model. They're so well done. They're really cute and they jump really nicely. They've got all sorts of different quirks and perks to them. This is awesome, let's explore it a little bit. So to start with, obviously you've got your frogs and if you punch the frogs, you get a specific effect based off of what frog you're punching. I won't go through and list them all because Dr. Red has a really great video on this, which I'll link down below as well. Um, but they all have like different perks and different quirks and it's just it's just incredible Some of them have really good aspects some of them have really bad aspects But yes, you can lick the frogs if you have them in bowls and if you lick them all you taste the rainbow <laughs> There's also poison darts that you can throw uh, look at these. They're so cool. Oh my gosh They're so satisfying to throw not gonna lie and just look at that look at the texture on that That looks so good. Let's see what happens if I can uh, land it on my head land it on my head uh Hey, that's a dart of blindness, so uh, that would make sense. <laughs> that's really cool. They're so satisfying to throw, honestly. Look at that, <laughs> look at that. I'm obsessed with these darts. They're so well done. I'm gonna go ahead and just lick a few of these, see what happens. Oh, the blue one gives me something. Oh, I just, I'm just gone. <laughs> oh, I guess it gives me paralysis. I literally can't do anything. It literally just stops me. I can't open my inventory or anything. That's, wow, that's kind of cool. There's this one that will like, prevent damage from all happening at the same time. What's this one? Vulnerability, that's kind of cool too. What's this one? There's a uh, torpor, okay. And then there's uh, there's uh, stimulation. Interesting. And my numbness runs out and I'm gonna instantly die. <laughs> this mod is seriously so cool. If you guys wanna check it out, there's a link in the description. And uh, honestly, I would love to have these alongside the uh, like actual Minecraft frogs. I think they'd be a great addition. The addition of all these effects is really cool too. And each one has like its own real strategy aspect. So go check out Doctor's video for those ones as well because those are just so cool. Hey there, do you like that video? Do you like custom content? Well, you should actually check out that top video there. You see that one? That one's about emotes in Minecraft with zero mods. Isn't that wild? And then this bottom one, that's a, that's a stratagolem. That's what that's called. And you should go check it out. It's a mini boss thing. It's really cool. Anyways, goodbye, jumping into the ocean, whee!